Hey guys, it's me, Waldo2413, back with another video. Okay, this is just a junk t-shirt. I've got loads of prints on it. Um, it's got old ink. Um, it's flipped inside out. But, we're going to do a direct to film, and we're going to do another half tone. So, we're going to do a Guns N' Roses one. Um, the file still needs a little tweaking with it. What I'm going to do is pre-press the shirt, guys, 15 seconds. The reason I'm doing that is just to make sure it's flat, like smooth, and gets a little heat to it. The other thing we're going to press right after it is a Detroit Bad Boys half tone print um so what i've been working on small right now will be bigger scale when i get it all dialed in so first we're going to do this guns and roses we're not really care to the alignment on this shirt guys because we're just pressing it um we're not using the shirt it's a junk shirt um you put a teflon sheet down if you want you don't need it right now really so i'm not going to do it the time I'm doing is 3.20 for 15 seconds, guys. 3.20, 15 seconds. This is a cold peel, guys. So what I'm going to do is we're going to press it this 15 seconds. I'm going to lay the other one on, get it kind of adjusted where I want, and then we're going to press that one for another 15 seconds. So this will not fit in that area. So what I'm going to do... is I'm going to slide my shirt out and we're going to lay it backwards because we can. <laughs> um, we're going to lay the print upside down just so that these prints line up. So it's backwards guys, upside down. Here we go again. We're going to do the same thing. Press it. And it's not going to hurt having this one here. What we are going to do though guys is once we get that done we're going to have to let it cool for a few seconds so before we can peel it and do the final press so the shirt is pressed as you can see and what we did also guys is we did this with no black this is Blacked out, guys. There is no black on this whatsoever. Um, so, we're going to let them cool down, guys, and then we're going to do the peel. So, we'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, we're back. They've cooled down. So, what I'm going to do... This is kind of warm, so I'm, I don't want to. You don't want to reheat it when you're peeling it. So I'd be better to peel it over there, but just trying to peel it so you guys can kind of see. So here we go. Nothing whatsoever. All the adhesive is there. The logo is there. On that one. Same thing with this one. Now remember guys, the shirt had all this ink on the bottom, so some of this is ink from before. Now what happens, these transfers have a feel until you repress them. So we're going to repress this guys. We're going to do it in two halves again. But there you guys go. The Guns N' Roses. And the Detroit Pistons, the bad boys. These prints, guys, are on the half tone method. These are not solid prints, these are all half toned. So it has a. It's hard to see on here, you're not going to be able to see it. 
but they, they were all half tone dots the whole image so they weren't solid so like on that flower you can kind of see the, the 3d effect of it now we're gonna flip the shirt and do this other side You could do it without a Teflon sheet, the stuff doesn't stick. The reason I don't though is because the glue adhesive can transfer up and stick if you didn't have all the glue off the paper. So I always use a Teflon sheet. The second pressing is just to more or less help press it in and set it in there. This shirt has been pressed had the goon lives it had the other test that I've already done on here of the uh, Detroit one so I'll show you guys that that is the Detroit you can see the half tones when you get all the way in okay so back to this side the guns and roses guys so what I'm gonna do is Lay the shirt on here. When you do that second press, guys, these things feel amazing. Especially when you do these half tones. So I'm going to take you guys off the mount. And we're going to kind of zoom in. So see, you can see when I'm zoomed in. The half tones on it. The half tones are almost the same way as you would do a screen print. When you do that, though, guys, there is no black in this image. The black that you see is from the shirt. So everything on there is the black from the shirt. So it's kind of a cool way to, to make the shirt have a softer feel because you're only got half tones on there. Same thing with the Detroit one. These are half tone dots, just like if you were screen printing. So you can see the all the half tone dots. And like I said, here it is again. because I've printed this one a few times. And then when you zoom out, it's just like a, a screen print. So, the bad boys and the Guns N' Roses print, guys. Hope you guys liked this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Hit the notification button, guys, to be notified when I make a new video. And if you guys need any product, down below in the description, I have some links to stuff um, that I use and where to get it from. I also have my Amazon affiliate down there. So if you need to get anything off of Amazon, guys, please click my link. It helps me out, and they don't charge you any extra. Again, guys, I'm Waldo2413. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Peace. I'm out. All right, guys. This is a bonus clip. Um, this is one I'm printing. I want to see how it looks on black. This is for a pharmaceutical company. Um, nice little pharmaceutical. So um, we're going to fill this shirt up like normal. Um, and I think we're clear right here. So this is just bonus footage, guys. We're just going to see... Kind of get a press, see how it looks, and shoot the customer a photo to see if that's what they like on the shirt or what color shirt they want. They wanted it on black, so we're going to do a quick mock-up for them on there. Again, 15 seconds, guys. 320. Um, you can go a little bit less on the, the time. These are cold peels, so you're going to want to let it cool down.
going to peel it cold. But there we go. We're going to set it over here and let it cool down for a few minutes. And when it's cooled, we'll be right back, guys, with the peel. Okay, guys, we're back. It's cooled down. I'm going to put it right on this hot platen just to do a quick peel for you guys. That's how simple it is when you're working with direct film. There's not much issue with them peeling. There it is guys. Now we're going to do the final press. This one just kind of sets it in and gets rid of some of that rougher feeling or the rubbery feeling. Some people don't mind it. Some people say it feels kind of silicone or rubbery so when you do this it helps eliminate that and it just helps set it in the shirt a little bit better guys so I always do another 15 second for 320 um, you can adjust your time differently but this is just the quick easiest way to do it peel it off and voila there it is guys Super soft, great feel, great stretchability, nice colors on it. So guys, uh, there it is. We'll shoot the customer the thing, see if they like it. If so, we'll start printing them out. Hope you guys like this. Please like, subscribe, and follow. This is a bonus, so I'm going to say it again. Like, subscribe, follow. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't already, guys. And I'm Wallow2413. Peace. I'm out.